Guys, I had a dream last night where Premiere could talk to me. I'm not even kidding. Sometimes I dream about Premiere. Anyway, in my dream, Premiere told me 10 editing tricks and now I have to tell you guys. These 10 tricks will increase your editing skills by 200%. Premiere told me that in my dream. Anyway, trick one, the color picker. Imagine you're trying to green key a clip using the ultra key effect. Well, if you click the color picker to select the greens, go to your program monitor, but instead of clicking, hold down control first. As you can see, the color picker gets bigger when I'm holding control. If you now click, your color selection will be bigger. This also works when you're selecting a color in your video with the HSL sliders, by the way. Super useful. Trick number two, when you want to use a non GPU accelerated effect, for example, the lightning effect, your computer will probably explode. No, seriously, this effect is really hard to run because it's not GPU accelerated. Let's say you're animating the start and end point. Well, that is hard to do when you have to wait three seconds with every step you take. Instead, disable the effect but make sure it's still selected. That way the start and end points are still visible and you can drag them around in real time, even with a potato computer. Trick number three. Imagine you're using an external recorder. For example, when your camera sound input is damaged. Then you have to manually sync your audio track with the sound of your camera and that is just awful. Please don't do that. Instead, line them up like this. Then select all the clips and right click them. Now choose synchronize. Then make sure audio track channel is checked and choose the audio track you want to sync. Leave it for a few seconds and boom. The audio waveforms are synced perfectly. Number four, pulling a much better green key. So with the ultra key effect, it's hard sometimes to get a good result. Well, not anymore. So just select the greens with the color picker and then instead of tweaking the key settings to get rid of the rest, set the output to alpha channel. Now if you go into match generation, usually decreasing the match generation will do wonders. Number five, don't waste time creating animated captions in Premiere. Instead, I highly recommend using Submagic alongside Premiere to make your subtitles. You just click on generate captions, then upload your video and this can be a vertical or horizontal one, doesn't matter. It will then automatically detect the spoken language. You can enable translate captions, it will then translate the audio to another language. I tested out Dutch a few videos ago and it works really well. Next, click on generate captions. Wait a few seconds and there you go. Now choose a caption preset. I always choose Leon. It's the best looking. These are all animated by the way and fully customizable. Go ahead and change the position and scale until it fits your video. You can of course also change the color in here. Next, go to customize Leon or whatever preset you got. You can change the font or upload your own and of course you can adjust more more settings in here as well. Editing captions is easy too, because you don't have to. I mean, look at the accuracy. Wonderful. If it does make a mistake, you can always adjust it in here. Adding B-roll automatically is also super cool. Submagic will detect what you're talking about and add it to your video, if you want the B-roll, of course. And now it's time to click export and choose my quality settings. In the meantime, you can even generate a caption with hashtags that fits your video. Next to captions, you can also use magic clips. This will turn one long video into multiple shorts. It automatically detects potential viral clips and it even explains to you why, which is super useful. You can edit all of them as much as you want. You have full customizability. And of course, you can add captions the same way as you learned before. Every time I make shorts, I'm using Submagic because it simply works, unlike Premiere. I'll leave a link down below for you guys where you can try out Submagic for free. Or if you want to skip that, you can use the code Premiere Basics for 20% off. Thank you so much. For sponsoring this video. And now it's time for trick number six. Let's say you love markers. Well, you can hold down Alt, then click and drag the marker to extend it. You can even add text or notes in here. To do that, double click the marker and here you go. Type in whatever you want. For example, still needs color grade, just in case your coworker forgot. You can also change the color of the marker if you like. Then click on OK and there you go. Now you love markers even more. Oh, and a little bonus trick. I also added some shortcuts to these colored markers to my numpad. Now every key number will place a different color marker. That is amazing. Trick number seven. Did you know you could double click the scroll bar in the timeline? It will then zoom out so that you can see your entire sequence. Yeah, I just learned that. Trick number eight. Make your beautiful face more attractive using HSL. First, you gotta use the color picker to make a color selection. Of course, we wanna select the skin tones, so select them. Now, in most cases, you still have to adjust the sliders a lot to get the precise color selection. If you scroll down, you can adjust the blurriness and that will smoothen out the selection. Cool, right? Next, play around with the 
color wheel to push more orange in your skin tones. That will make it feel warmer. Or instead, you can also use the temperature slider. No problem. Trick number nine, setting a thumbnail. This one is old but gold. In the project panel, you can hover your cursor over your video and actually scrub the entire clip. Once you're on a frame that you like, you can set it up as the thumbnail or poster frame of that clip. To do that, just right click the video and select set poster frame. That way you'll find your clips back so much faster. Trick number 10, generative extent. Now, in my opinion, this one still needs a little bit of work, but in some cases it's actually life-saving. This clip, for example, has a low frame rate, and because of that I can slow it down even more. But I have to extend it, so to do that, grab the Generative Extend tool. Click and drag the clip to the right and wait for a couple of minutes. It usually takes about 5 minutes to extend a clip, but once it's done, the result is pretty nice. I mean, in most cases you won't even notice it's AI. And now, for a bonus trick, mastering the lightning effect in Premiere Pro. This can really enhance your videos, so to learn everything about that click the video right here on the left thank you guys so much for watching